Hey guys, welcome back to Sky Tanya, episode 44. So, I did uh, narrow down these requester bugs a little bit. It seems that whenever I close the Minecraft client completely, they lose their stuff, which is unfortunate, because I doubled down, hoping it wouldn't happen again, and, well, uh, I'm not going to be able to use this right now. So, uh, for now, I'm going to leave them like they are, and I filed a bug report with the mod author. I gave him some information, so... Hopefully, he'll find a fix for it, and uh, I can keep using this. If not, uh, I guess I'll have to just keep using these guys, and you know, like I was before. So, it's not terrible, but um, it's just really sad they don't keep the, your state like, like they're supposed to. So, alright, um, let's see here. I did make some more of these guys, so we've got plenty of new interface spots. Alright. What else? What else? I made a wheat farm. If you are making uh, these farms next to each other like I am, you want to make sure that there are at least 12 spaces between your drums. So this drum will reach 12 spaces away. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Which is fine. There's nothing over here. However, um... I did have him only three away, only one way with three of these things in there, because that's how I usually do things. That was not far enough, so I had to rebuild the whole thing, which was irritating. Uh, yeah, let's see how they're doing. Uh, yeah, 24 wheat already, so I'm net plus, So because there was nothing in there at the beginning. All right, yeah. And once we get uh, a bunch of wheat and a bunch of potatoes... We should be able to set up an automated gorillas, and that should supply mana to them, and that should be just a really good system. So, that'll be nice. I did add a dust setup over here, a dust into clay, so uh, we can make uh, clay now, so we're keeping that in stock as well, or I was until the requester stopped working. But we've got some in stock, and I'll make more if I need to. That's the other thing I don't like about the external storage stuff. If I want to put the clay in here, uh, then you know it it can't be it can't be in this drawer. It has to be in the external storage, which means it doesn't get trans it doesn't get converted into the smaller version of clay. So I'm not super thrilled with that, but eh, it is what it is. I might. Uh, Yeah, I don't really know what to do about that uh, if I can't use these. So that was one of the, that was the other nice thing about having these requesters was that I could put them. I didn't have to put them in the, the interfaces. So yeah. Oh well, it'll be what it'll be. So I guess realistically, if I have to keep them in here, I'll keep the big clay blocks and have recipe to convert them on the fly, and that'll be what that has. So that's not terrible, but unfortunate. So, uh, what do I want to do this episode? Um, I would like to do some automation of the Petal Apothecary. So, I made a lot of flowers for the other guy, and I thought, why don't I automate this? It'll be a lot better. So, the one thing we needed to do automation was the click machine. Because that's going to replace uh, what I usually use, the mechanical user from Extra Utilities. And I thought we'd have to go to the end to get that, but I went to the end in a test world, and it's empty, just like this is. There's nothing there. There's the Obsidian Islands, the dragon's there, and that's it. So I killed the dragon, but the end islands, they're empty too. So no elytras, no chorus fruit. So it's a very empty place. So if I have no need for the dragon's egg, there's no need to go to the end at all. Okay. So, instead, we need to get chorus fruit a different way. So, I added a recipe from Sky Factory 3 to get uh, chorus flowers, or fruit, or something, from crushed endstone. So, we're going to have to get that. So, to get endstone, we need to put lava... No? Yes. No? Yes. We need to put glowstone dust into a barrel with lava. So, that'll get us endstone. So, let's get that working real quick. So, need to make that a processing recipe. Uh, take the barrel out, take the lava out. There we go, that's what that is. And then it's way down here. 
Which one are you? You are this guy. Okay, so yeah, you are with the Netherrack. Oh, this guy's now a 5x5x5, five by five by five, so he is super fast. Uses more energy, but we seem to have plenty of energy right now. So what are we doing? 517? Yeah, he's back up to what he was before I took out the uh, network receivers and transmitters. But uh, I decided to use the rosin and tar we're getting from making other fuels and make a steam dynamo. So I've got plenty more of that. So, yeah. All out of tar now, but there is lots of rosin still. And when we run out, we'll just, uh, you know, not have him. I made some switches with these guys on and off because we don't need all of, the, all of them right now. But um, if it turns out we start running out of fuel, we'll go flip on more generators. I like to find some way to automate this, but usually I do that with, X, with uh, Ender IO, which is not in the pack, so I'm not sure how to do that just yet. I think we're fine. Uh, I think RF tools might have a way to do that, though, so I have to look into that. All right, let's go finish up our automation of Endstone. So, first of all, you will also take out Glowstone. Alright. And when you do, you will get Endstone. And you will pull that out. And go on system. So, Let's get some endstone. All right, let's see. Let's just get a stack of you on demand because we'll just have that. There. I want to have more, but until I can use these guys, I'm going to get less of things that I don't really need that much of, I guess. Okay, there we go. It's making that. So what we need now is to crush that into crushed endstone. And then we'll get uh, more stuff. So... He might take a bit to get this. Um, yeah. Let me come back when I have this, and we will work on the crushed endstone. And there's a 10% chance of getting a chorus flower from there. So, and I think I only need one for Quick Machine. So, should be able to get that with a stack, I think. I'm hoping. Yeah. Quick Machine, 10% chance. Diamond Mesh. Uh, yeah. But I hope, anyway. So, I'll be back when we have the endstone, and we'll try for that. Alright, I've got the endstone we need, so let's get a hammer. This is compressed endstone, so it's, you know, works in the compressed thing. First we have to crush it. There we go. That gets us crushed endstone. Just we need to make compressed of that too. Alright. Okay. So let's hope for a chorus flower. It's the only thing we'll get from these. 10% chance, but we get 7 chances each. Oh, there it is. Well, that was much simpler than I imagined. I'm not sure what the percent chance in the Sky Factory was. I put a 10%. Maybe it should be 5 or 1. I'm not really sure. It should probably be less than this, but, oh well, I will look into tweaking that maybe. But for now, we've got what we need. Uh, we do need one piece of end stone to grow this on, so that should be getting more of that right now. Okay, there we go. So, do I have any end stone? I don't really know how these things work. I have never used a chorus flower ever. Oh, you know, we don't, I don't think we have to grow them, do we? No, all we needed was the flower. We need a polished diorite. Does it mean polished diorite? It has to be that specific stone type? It probably does. Um, that'd be fine if it was. Yep, it meant that specific type. All right, we get that.
Should make a recipe for this. We might make more of these. All right, we're gonna get this. We're gonna get that. All right. So let's get a quick machine. Okay, there we go. So that takes care of that, I think. So this is what's going to uh, put water back into this, and also what's going to... Oh, no, for this it's just going to be this. Okay, so we're going to need a fluid transposer and a flux point. Don't know how to make those, huh? Okay. Let's teach you to make those real quick. All right, also need a flux point. There we go. Yeah, it's really fast now. So we've got what, uh, 18 CPUs and nine pages. We're on page two. We won't, we're not even filled two pages. We've got seven more. So yeah, we'll never fill this. I hope. All right, so let's see here. What we're gonna do, we're gonna have to dig under you. Mm, no, nah, actually we don't have to. Let's put you there. I never know which one will get me the way I want. Maybe it's... Maybe it's where I click on the block? Maybe that's it. Maybe it's where on the block I click it on the, on his face. I'm not really clear about that. Alright, let's see here. So... Hmm... Okay. <clears throat> So we need to get a fluid transposer. It's going to be set up similarly to the lava guy that's over there. So let's get one of those. I've got one of those. We need item ducts. Yeah, okay. Okay, we're not going to be on that guy. All right, so the system is right here, so should be able to get water from the bottom. Yeah, I should be able to get water right there. Let's get a food interface and then some cable. And then the water bucket. All right. Oh, we need more than one. You only ever need one. Okay, let's see here. So, you should now have water. Why don't you have water? It's because you have no power? Let's uh, see if that's the problem first. Maybe you can't pull in just from uh, an interface. All right. Let's break you and you. 
put this guy here instead and we'll get a fluid duct there we go we've got one of those guys now I'm gonna need a servo There we go. Okay. Could also just put the inner tank over here. That would have been another option. I thought about that, but it's fine. All right. You are not going to be there ever. So now we need a bucket. We need at least one filter. You know, I'm realizing this whole setup is silly. We can have the fluid transposer in the base fill buckets and have an interface out here to keep them stocked and pull in and out from here. Yeah, this is a setup we don't need at all. It's too complicated for what we need. All right, let me go fix that. All right, so instead of doing that, let's simply teach this guy how to make uh, water buckets. So let's see. Processing pattern. This guy. There we go. Stick him in the fluid transposer. Not him. Him. And there we go. And I need a regular interface. I need a crafting card. And then one water bucket. So what we will be able to do is just use this interface oh, it's too far down okay there so uh, we're gonna have you in there we're gonna have the crafting cart so you always have that with you which is what I ought to do for that guy too, by the way. But we'll fix that later. Okay, so we need a servo and a retriever. So I need an empty bucket. Need a water bucket too. Okay, so the retriever That's not right. They're both going to be servos. Okay. They're both going to be servos. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. So what we will do is... Is move that as if it didn't happen. And let's get rid of you. So you are both going to be servos. You are going to whitelist buckets and you are going to whitelist empty buckets so does that work doesn't seem to be working Pretty sure I tested this. Maybe it's because servo's over here too. Yep, it is. Okay, we have to have another place for the servo to be. That's fine. Uh, means we need two sides of this guy though. All right, let's get that back, and let's uh, break him. Did I put the cable away? No, it's right here. All right, so is where the first one was originally. All right, yeah, that'll work. So put him here, then get rid of that, then put the cable over there. 
Can't get up there. All right, let's see here. Let's close this off. Okay, so yeah, we need two of these guys. And you are still not one of the connections. So, we will servo. Oh, we could retrieve her now. I mean, it doesn't really matter which one it goes now. I thought we could do both, but since we can't do both. Go with my original plan. Get a retriever. Why? I don't know. So, you are going to retrieve empty buckets. And you... are going to get your stuff back. And you are going to push full buckets into him. There we go. So, and then... We need to right click yeah there it goes let's see here uh, 20 takes is one second so let's put it at that speed so yeah okay now we always have water in this guy the next step is to do something to get flower stuff in him, and then we'll have that too. So we're gonna do pretty much the same thing we did over here. We'll get another chest, another hopper, another open crate, and another interface. And then we'll have to do something with a hopper hawk. Uh, that guy won't reach. So yeah, we'll get one of those, and we'll get a chest. Yeah, that seems right. We'll gather that stuff, and I'll be right back. All right, I think I have everything. I made the inner chest for this guy, gray, white, white. I don't know why, just it's the color of the petal apothecary. Sure, why not? Uh, let's go with that. So let's get a crafter. There we go. And let's go downstairs. So here we are downstairs. All right. There we go. And the first thing we're going to do is a hopper hawk. So we need a hopper hawk for this build. So let's plan that out first. So there we are. I almost won't do it all. Okay. No, no, not 30 of them, just one. You don't need that either. You need seeds. And you need light gray. All right, there is a recipe. So let's go put this down here. That way I won't confuse it with this empty one. This empty one, whichever one is empty, this one. All right, there we go. Hopper Hawk for that guy. Okay. So, I guess we'll just put the chest there and we'll have the Hopper Hawk here. I'm thinking about making a thermal expansion vacuumulator. It's got better filtering options, you know. Batania can get a little bit limiting sometimes when you've got a lot of builds in a short space. But for now, uh, we're just gonna carry on. All right, there we go. So let's see what happens. Um, if I request a hopper hawk, <laughs> that's why I have a run of air. All right, we'll go grab one of those. All right, there we go. Runes of air. Let's put those in the system. And let's try that hopper hawk thing again. OK. 
Okay, that's a little bit of a problem with the thing. There we go. Hey, Hopper Hawk. And I need you to go back to the system so you can complete that recipe. And I want you back, so... So, yeah. Uh, probably we'll replace these guys with a vacuum emulator so we can filter things more, because... I'm not going to be able to filter all the flowers I want to filter, and then all the stuff that can get here. So we just need a, something a little bit better, I think, for these things. I mean, Britannia can work, but it can get a bit complicated with some of the stuff. Probably need to turn this into a regular Solignolia, too, to keep me from getting this area, too. But that is pretty much a complete build for that. So, I would say that's a good wrapping up point for today's episode. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, I'd appreciate a like, and feel free to hit the subscribe button. If you did not, I don't know. What did you like about it? Open to suggestions. See you next time.